You know, more than likely if you're a woman, you've experienced a urinary tract infection. In fact, it's estimated 60% of us will have it in our lifetime. Well, at the University of Washington, a researcher studied more than 1,000 women and found that the problem may actually be in our intestines. Take a look. All right, so, so what were the major takeaways for you from this study? The major takeaway would be that uh, the enemy, super drug resistant bugs, are actually much closer to us than we thought. They're actually infecting us even without causing any problem. Even if you don't take antibiotics, they're already there. So sort of the enemy is at the gate. So you found that there were many women with E. coli in their guts, but not causing any problems, but it's there and it's drug resistant. And it is drug resistant. Moreover, what we found that actually at very high rate, you find these bugs in women's urine, again, without symptoms. So the bug that causing actually urinary tract infections, the major cause, is already there sitting with uh, uh, ready to attack us, waiting for us to get uh, less healthy, I would say. What do you suspect is causing it? Causing the drug resistance spread mm -hmm. is the use of antibiotics. That certainly, and it's primarily overuse that is causing. It's being overused by doctors, it's being overused in uh, agriculture, it's being overused wherever it could be overused. Is there anything that we can do, especially as women? I mean, it's very common to get a UTI. Is there anything that we can do? What you can do, you really don't need to panic if you have it, or not to panic whether or not you have it, but be aware about this. We need to study more what it means. It certainly means something, because the same bugs which we found in the gut, we do find in uh, patients. We find in patients with urinary tract infections, UTIs. We find in patients with kidney infections. We find in patients with bloodstream, blood infections. So these are very dangerous uh, bugs. All right, well, thank you so much. Is there anything else we should know? You should know that we need to study it better. We need to study to connect how the bugs that are in the gut, how they got there. Are we the ones that are we transmitting to each other uh, only? Or there is some other sources like environment or agriculture, what we getting in supermarkets, what our pets are carrying. We need to run a big, good study. And Seattle is a perfect place to do this. So it sounds like we should stay tuned for your work. Yes, you should stay tuned. All right, thank you. Wow. You know, so often when we do these stories, I always want my solution now. Okay, tell yeah. me what to do. Do you drink more kombucha? What do I yeah, need to do? Yeah. But in this case, he's like, we really just yeah. need to learn we more. Like, we know it's there. It's, it's connected. It's like it's there existing in healthy people. But then if you get sicker, that's yeah. when it can take over. So, wow. um, yeah. So if some studies come up.